Yes. Look, 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 look. Ooh, oh, wow. Today I am drinking Beaujolais Village. It's all in French, so this has got to be legit. Fancy times. An easy drinking wine made with grapes of the highest quality from the Beaujolais region of Burgundy. This is a Louis Jadot 2017. <laughs> I hope I've thoroughly offended all of my French viewers. This is actually really nice. If you like Pinot Noirs, this is actually kind of on the same level of that for me. I'm more of a full body, really spicy, earthy wine kind of person, but I'm not mad about this. Today, I'm super excited because I'm going to be playing with a totally new brand of makeup from Glossier. It's called Glossier Play. So here's the bag. Everything came in. It comes with this super cute sticker. So this is from their website. It says, Glossier Play is a brand of dialed up beauty extras. We believe the best part about going out is getting ready. You guys know how much I love Glossier. I just think they're a brand about simplicity. They're great for all ages, especially mature skin, because it's all about skin first, makeup second. You guys know I'm all about the wearable looks. I'm all about showing you ways to enhance your own natural beauty. However, that doesn't mean that we can't be playful and have some fun occasionally, and I think that this is the perfect line to show you how to do that. I feel like in every video, I do have to preface it by saying that if you are new to my channel, I am currently working on a cruise ship. I'm a performer for Norwegian Cruise Line, so I'm going to apologize in advance because literally as I'm making this video, the ship is like rumbling and we're going through glaciers and there's all kinds of weird ass sounds. So I do have every single product that they are currently selling in the Glossier Play line. I don't have every shade, however. I got two shades in the Color Slide Techno Gel Eye Pencil. This shade is called Early Bird and it's a really just beautiful robin's egg blue and this shade is called stable relationship i'm living for the names of these products and this is just a beautiful olive green i really love the font on all of the product as well it's kind of giving me a little bit 1970s vibes that's kind of what i'm getting from the aesthetic of all of the glossier play it's a very sort of like studio 54 glittery fabulous situation i did some of my makeup before i started this video because i just want to dig right into the line. I have my foundation done. I have some blush and I'm just doing a very clean eye today. I used an eyeshadow primer and then I'm going over that with a shade that is literally the color of my lid because the star of this show is going to be these liners. They are going to give us our pop of color. And as always, I'm going to list everything I'm currently wearing on my face right now, as well as all of the Glossier Play products down below in the description box. You can get every single one of the Glossier Play products in a set that retails for $60, so that's what I did, and then I got a couple extras. With the set, you get this sharpener. This is the German engineered sharpener. They just call it Blade. See how it sharpens here. Ooh, yeah, it's pretty good, it's $4. Okay, so I'm just going to basically rim my entire eye with this shade. Take it all the way to the inner corner. I sound like Bob Ross, just ever so slightly. Just wanna go easy, don't rush it. You don't need to rush. And I am going to do a wing. I'm also really impressed with how nice and soft this is. But it's not so soft that the color is going to smudge or fade away on you, you know? Do our under eye in that shade as well. So today I had a safety training on the ship and they literally showed us like 15 minutes of the original movie of Titanic. Have you seen this? I didn't even know there was a movie before the Titanic that we all know and love. It's like a little bit sadistic because we're sailing through Alaska, just going through icebergs every day. I mean, that's not gonna happen again. What are the odds? I'm not nervous at all. <laughs> now I'm gonna take stable relationship and just add a little bit of interest, just a little something something, and go from the midpoint of my lash line, my upper lash line, out to the corner. I'm not quite sure if that's actually gonna pick up that much on camera, but. And I also just did my waterline from the outer corner of my eye to the midpoint. So now I'm gonna step off camera, do my other eye, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now I finished both eyes. We're going to move on to glitter. This product I'm so excited to try. This is the Glitter Gelé. Pretty sure it's pronounced Gelé because there's an accent aigu over one of the E's in 
Jalet. Wow, this video is soups French. I've already played around with this a little bit and I know that it's actually really easy to apply. This particular shade is Glass Bonsai and there's all kinds of just rad colors of glitter in here. There's gold, there's like blue green flecks in here, there's some orange, you got a little bit of everything. And you can get it in a duo with this tool which is actually really helpful. This is the Detailer. It's a silicone precision tool. It has that nice angled precise edge that's going to help you just really lay the glitter down the way you want to lay it down. So I'm going to dip my brush in here and I'm going to go right along my lower lash line with that. Pretty much just painting it on top of that eye pencil we used. Even if you didn't do any sort of a bold color on your eye and this glitter was the star, that would be stunning. This is also my little tribute to Pride Month. I'm all about supporting my LGBTQ community. Okay, this is making me want to go and put on Tu Wong Fu immediately. This tool is the shit. I have to admit to you right now, I'm not a glitter person. I'm just not. I think a lot of the time it looks tacky, falls all over your face. You just look like a hot ass mess. But this almost makes my eyes look bejeweled. Glossier play glitter jelly. Good job. Okay, so I went ahead and finished it off with my mascara, which really gives it that extra bang. I just stepped away from my ring light, went into my bathroom, took a look because I wanted to see what this looked like just normally. This is a look I would wear for a date night situation, a late night situation. When you're out at night and that soft dim lighting hits these glitters, it's just enough to catch people's eye, but they won't really know exactly what's happening with your eye makeup. And I think that is so cool. So the line is really small. We only have a couple products left. So this is called the Vinylic Lip. It is a high shine lip lacquer in the shade Blow Up. It's a really pretty sort of bubble gum pink. It's like a twisty clicky situation down here. So you twist this, there's a sponge tip applicator and you can see the product comes up through the middle. And it actually does glide on beautifully. You could go really light with this and kind of just do a stain or you can just keep on clicking that up. Oh, it also, oh, oh, you can push it too. Oh shit. When you push it, it really comes out. It's really buttery. It's not sticky or tacky at all. Okay, well that is stunning. Play is such a brilliant name for this line. I mean, wow, this company is just nailing it to the ground with the marketing. It is mix and match, it's do your own thing. It can be subtle, it can be bold, it can be whatever you want it to be. I have to say, I actually didn't know how I was gonna feel about this line. I am trying some of these things on for the first time in front of you guys today, so I'm really blown away. All right, last but not least, highlighter. This is the Nightshine Highlighter Concentrate. I got this in the shade Pale Pearl. It comes in this really cute little glass bottle and it has a sponge tip applicator. I'm gonna dot this right along my cheekbone and it is pretty high shine. You get a lot of payoffs, so a little bit goes a long way. Again, you guys know what a fan I am of cream and liquid highlighter, especially for mature skin. It doesn't highlight your fine lines and wrinkles as much as a powder highlighter will. It's a lot easier to blend because you're using the warmth of your finger and gives you that natural lit from within look. So that's after just like a few dots on each cheek and I think that's beautiful. Obviously you can build it up as well and just be like a glowing ass goddess if you want. Um, what? Stunning. I just have to say, I am so impressed with this line. I'm done, I'm obsessed. This look, this vibe is very reminiscent to me of one of my favorite makeup artists that I wanted to mention to you guys. Her name is Katie Jane Hughes. If you don't follow her on Instagram, you absolutely should. She does all kinds of really incredibly interesting, creative, different makeup looks. She's all about just a pop of color here and there, a very clean eye with a bold eyeliner they're bold and interesting makeup looks while at the same time being accessible and approachable. Thank you guys so much for joining me while I played with Glossier Play today. If you are enjoying my channel, please do subscribe, share, and like, and click that little bell right beneath the video with the little parentheses around it. That is going to alert you anytime I drop a new video. Mm. Okay, bye!